Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we have the review of Fall of Porcupine and I'd like to give a massive thanks to Keymailer and the developer for providing a review copy. As always, if you like what you see, subscribe because it's free and it really helps the channel out. In the game, you will embody Finley, a fresh-faced doctor who has commenced work at St Ursula's Hospital. As time passes in the charming town, you will discover some unsettling realities. You will learn that not everyone is candid with themselves or others. The healthcare industry is far from glamorous as you had originally thought during medical school and finding a balance between work and personal life may prove to be an intimidating feat for Finley. Full of Porcupine is a captivating side-scrolling adventure where you play as Finley, a young doctor in a charming town of animal townfolk. Your playthrough consists of interacting with the townfolk on your way to and from work and to carry out your job at the hospital. Daily evaluation of your performance is mandatory at the hospital that seems to be falling apart. Your engagement with patients will be through mini games and turn-based combat amongst other things. You will require to choose dialogue options while conversing with colleagues and friends and this is what engrossed me the most about Full of Porcupine. The more you play and interact with the cast of characters, the deeper the insight into who they really are and the bonds you create with them. This is particularly true with the patients at the hospital who will open up to you about their worries and lives. Their narrative delves deep into the monotonous grind of everyday life and the raw emotion that defines our humanity. Finley in particular experiences vivid nightmares that can touch on sensitive subjects and somewhat serve as a prophetic vision of upcoming events. Unfortunately, the Switch version is marred with issues that require the game to restart due to specific characters disappearing off screen at the worst of times and the frame rate plummeting intermittently. These can surely be addressed with a patch or two and although it was a bit of a pain, I found the game's narrative and playstyle engaging enough to push through. The game features a lovely selection of melodies that perfectly match its cosy styled nature. The visuals are reminiscent to the pastel effect cartoons that made Hanna-Barbera famous, particularly the backgrounds and it all oozes with charm. The animations can seem a tad stiff but it adds to the charm as well. Fall of Porcupine is available now for £17.99 or your original equivalent and will require 2.52GB to download. Despite the aforementioned issues, I enjoyed playing this game. If you're a fan of cosy narrative style games like Oxenfree or Night in the Woods, it's definitely worth considering, especially if you catch it on sale like it is currently in the UK. If only it had been released in a more polished state, I would have given it an extra point. As it stands, the game scores 6 out of 10. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the review. Let me know in the comment section down below. If you want to support us, please use our affiliate links like the one we use with PlayAsia, where you can get all the best games, mostly Asian versions with English, and it'll support us massively. And if you're looking for the cool looking GameCube controller, the Nixie Wizard, please use our affiliate link for that in the description below. Use coupon code GRINNY for 10% off. Peace.